Hello guys, I'm Commissioner SP the West and today I'm gonna show you how to draw a uh, logo using Creator. So this is the logo that we're gonna draw on this channel and at this time. So I believe that you have installed Creator right now, so just like uh, open up in your document the way I've done. It's easy, you can also do this. Uh, the, here zooming in and zooming out using my mouse wheel. So select that um, mouse tool that I've uh, pointed out, select that and also adjust the color to uh, to black. Sorry guys, I have um, a cord right now, so it's it's very hard to maybe speak about sneezing. <laughs> and also select uh, uh, that pencil tool. This is the pencil tool that I like using. So once you've done that, just uh, do what I was doing on the do what I was doing on the uh, blank space, uh, the work area. Just like the way this uh, tool works, it's it's like you you just select on the place where you want the line to be and. Uh, the line goes there so it's very easy to use this when when drawing because this is what i use since i don't have a drawing trouble right now i use the mouse so this is what i found uh, to be convenient when you're using a mouse uh so uh, the, the way it links to uh, the way it, it goes to like black line you have to select the uh add new layer that, uh, add new layer button so that's that's how it goes black like that or you can uh, you can make it to, to to be like a theme line once you have connected the dots but you really don't have to retrace everything so here i'm just gonna like you have seen the basics i'm just gonna speed this process up because what i was doing I, I wanted to get a bit shape so i'm just trying to like speed this up so that you guys can uh see the potential of this uh drug method so I really didn't plan much about uh, what I was going to draw. This is just all freestyling. I didn't do a design or I didn't really prepare for this, but I love the the way the design turned out. So I'm just gonna show you how I can do. It. So select that line, uh, select that selector tool. Um, this selector tool actually helps you to uh, to isolate uh, places where you want to paint. So here. You can see that there was like this white space on, on the bed shape that I was creating so it made it quite vulnerable for ink to flood everywhere so this is what I was doing I just made uh, I was just like say isolating this uh, place out meaning that if I would drop ink uh, which you're going to see further, further in this video it's not going to spill everywhere so this is why, why I was uh, isolating the place so once i connect the dots it's going to be isolated so then i selected the fill tool you can press f to do that make sure that you select the color that you want to fill it with so that's yellow i chose yellow then you can see that it's not everywhere that's filled it's only the places that i've selected so here you have to deselect so you can just uh think left um, mouse click and then select deselect then i went all the way to fill uh Sorry, I went all the way to fill the places which had the white background color because I didn't really want that. So you can also see that I made um, new layers uh, for the color because uh, we're going to delete uh, these uh, black lines later on in the video. So that's why I made. That's why I had to make new layers because you always have to make new layers in, in, in with tools like clear because you you really want to have full control. So you want to have full control once you made. A lot of layers so there yeah, i was just also using the same method to isolate the the space that i want to color and color it nicely so here i was deleting uh you can see i was going back to the layers and selecting that and deleting all the other layers uh, except the one that i've colored so i i was deleting those uh black lines because i wanted just to have the yellow line and 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 not the black the black part so here yeah, I think I made a mistake. I like the background color had had like uh, I painted on the background color, so I didn't want that. So I'm just gonna create a new background, uh, white, um, a new white background. So uh, that's the the shape of the bed that we have made. I believe you have made us something similar to that or something out of your imagination. So once that get the uh, isolate color tool, it's very good once you say that you can isolate color and use the gradient tool. It's very uh, effective and that done this. So select also the gradient color, uh, the gradient tool. So once you have isolated the color, you can select the gradient tool and uh, select a, 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 a another color on the color selector tool. So here I'm just going back to select the color that I want. I'm going for red because red uh, made it to look like that. I added some gradient there so it made it look 
stylish and also beautiful so it looked more of a bed and also an air um, uh, quite creative right so you also have to select maybe the box too so that you can uh, bring back the unselect and select to and select option so it's very good to and select things once you have isolated them because you really want to to be able to touch other things so it's very important to do that so here yeah, i just i just like the uh the circle view um on the top there so to make a perfect circle so that i could add something like a sun there so just thinking what color should i put in there so make sure that you you add um, you create new layers for everything. You create new layers for adding the circle, and you create also new layers for uh, coloring the se in the circle because you want to have a lot of control afterwards. Because you can also you can choose to delete the uh, black outline if it's not appearing to you. So, but the inner um, the inner coloring will remain. So that's what you want. So that's what I did here. So I was uh, I was also seeing that part just because I wanted to drop in some uh blue ink and afterwards i deselected it so that was like the bed logo that was coming out after all that hard work it didn't look like much because i haven't um zoomed in a lot so i said the t um i said the text too so that i could add some uh, text there that's how i did it and i added like life I thought it, it looked a lot, a lot cooler because uh, it had this L shape on the logo. So that's the logo that we made. I hope that you love this and uh, you subscribe to the channel. And I'll show you other things that you can do, cool things, uh, cool things that you can do using this creator software. Thanks, guys. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll make uh, lots more cream videos than this one. I know this, this, this feels lashed but it wasn't supposed to be large it's just that i'm sick and under the weather right now so but thanks anyways for watching this thanks